Good evening. This is the uh, May 27, 2015 uh, meeting of the Urban Conservation Commission. Uh, this meeting is being broadcast live. Gentlemen? Yes. Okay. It's also being recorded for uh, rebroadcast. The rebroadcast can be seen at uh, urbanguide.com. The first item on the agenda is a 7 o'clock public hearing for Herb Chambers and Notice of Intent. Uh, is there a motion open? So moved. Second? Yes. Oh, thank you. Is anyone recording this meeting? Aside from those guys over there? Okay, if not, thank you. All right. Is there a motion open? So moved. So moved, okay. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? To vote. Mr. Andre. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, again, Mike Andre, Graves Engineering. Um, I just have a couple more comments I'd like to make and can certainly answer any more questions you might have. Um, Mr. Garland and I had a site visit on Saturday. I don't know if anyone else has had a chance to visit the site or not. Um, I guess kind of my closing comments, if you will. Um, you know, I'm sure you're all aware Herb Chambers has invested very heavily in the town of Auburn. And, uh, they're excited about this project, and uh, it's also uh, very necessary for them to do this project. They are the last of the Herb Chambers Group Toyota dealerships to do dealership upgrades. This is the last Toyota that's not upgraded yet. Um, so they're excited about expanding um, their services to the, to the public and the town of Auburn in general. And um, this is the first step in, in getting to that point. So if there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Does anything else? Um, by expanding uh, the service area of the dealership, um, can you give us an idea of by what percentage that service area might be expanded? They're going uh, from, I think they have nine bays now, mm -hmm. to 17. Wow. So, so you'll be able to get people in and out quicker, um, service more vehicles. Um, I mentioned too, this is not just about the service expansion, but it's a showroom uh, renovation. It's a waiting area. I think you've been in the dealership now. It's kind of no man's land. They have a, a nice modern waiting area for customers to be comfortable while they're waiting. Um, so it's all part of that. This is really a service-driven um, upgrade, but the entire dealership is, is being renovated at the same time. Now, is um, is it? Um Herb Chambers intention to remain open while the work is being done? Yes. So how is that going to work? I did, I spoke to Dan uh, Borlusi, who's the general manager, about that. And um, very similar to what they did to the Hyundai across the street and um, Ford that we did uh, for them last year in Westboro. They um, will remain open the, the duration of the project, which you know could take as much as a year or no more. Um, the way they have done it is they, um, do the improvements in sections. So they'll leave, um, <coughs> they may cut the showroom in half and have that part remain open to public while they're working on the other half, building a surface expansion, keep a few bays open in the back. Uh, they have to be able to do that, they have to stay open during, during the project. Mm -hmm. So they'll, most likely that's how it'll happen. Um, so they can't remain open while this project is being constructed. And when will you be going for the planning board? Um, we plan to submit, uh, I think, um, if not the end of this week or uh, beginning of next week. Okay. All right. Not that it matters, but how many how many jobs or will it create? Uh, I don't have an exact figure on that. They do. Um, obviously, they have more service space, need more technicians, and they have they'll have a larger sales room. They can increase their salesmen. I don't have a number, but I would imagine there will be it doesn't need matter, for more employees. Um, <clears throat> any other questions? <clears throat> All right. Um, is there a motion to close? So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. We have uh, 21 days to issue a decision. Uh, we may get to it tonight. We may not. So, but it, but we will issue a decision uh, either now or at the next meeting. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you for coming in. When this decision is issued, the new one you want to get the original, correct? Please, yes. Okay. I mean, it'll get lost at yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll make sure it gets to the right people. All right. Sure.
Thanks. I'll let you know tomorrow. Great. And that was a new picture of the front of the building? Is that? Yes. Yep. Oh, that's what it's going to look like. That, that looks nice, huh? Render right the new building. Fancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks nice in there. This is this is very typical of what Herb Chambers is doing a lot of the dealerships. It's mm -hmm. kind of a monolith wall. Yeah. Um, with the vehicle branding. Mm -hmm. This is the new service drive in the filter. Yeah. So the customers drive in or do they? Yep. Yeah. Drive in. Okay. Just like you do a Hyundai now, you drive yeah. right in, you're out of the weather, and there's oh. someone, a service uh, person will take your information and you your vehicle into the garage from there. Oh, okay. Walk All the right. waiting, waiting. Very nice. Yep, very with uh, Mike Andrade actually about six o'clock on Friday and I've been trying to arrange a time to meet with him and I spoke to him so late on Friday given the fact that it's Memorial Day weekend I figured most if not all of you have plans so I went out there uh, but uh, depending on what we do with uh, the notice of intent uh, if we decide to uh, defer action on this until the next meeting you may want to take a look uh, at, the, at the property in any event so anyway as part of my a uh, little sojourn on Saturday. I also went by the detention basin uh, on Route 12 and 20. I think oh, there's a lot of images here. Then. There, well, there are about seven or eight images, and they're not in a particular order. But um, there are a couple that that one kind of jumped out. That's um, it's a box culvert, uh, or actually a round culvert, um, uh, right as you go into the property. It's on the right-hand side, and uh, clearly you got some saltation, and uh, it was not. I know. think I know what you're talking about. Right? Yeah, the it's right. Yeah, exactly. On the right-hand side. Uh -huh, on the so right -hand is this side. the one near 1220 intersection <laughs> behind that antique place? That's correct. Okay. You know, and it's. Um, I would say the the detention basin is about 95 percent complete, but not all the fencing has been done. If you okay. can move sure. on to some of the other images. I don't, what it is, I, I, had, I didn't have my iPhone with me, so I used my Blackberry and it didn't. So, for example, that fence is not, hasn't been fully constructed. I don't know if someone, if it was vandalized or if they just uh, ran out of materials to finish building it, but it, it's not, the detention basin is not secured, although it looks fairly complete. There's another image. That's at the, uh, the far end. Mm -hmm. uh, for you, for those of you that haven't been out there, it's about the size of a football field. It's huge. Yeah. It looks like a stadium or something. Uh, yeah, really exactly. big. You, need it. you know, <laughs> but the slope seems to be pretty well stabilized. Okay. Um, so I think they're almost there, but they're not quite there. That's just another picture of the far end. That's the closest to uh, the road. 
you know, so it's, it's holding the water, it's doing its job. But that, uh, that part is kind of disturbing. Right. And I think that was uh, uh, Bill Coyle's concern. Okay. Uh, so I think we need to follow up with, uh, with Mass Highway and see what we're going to do to just finalize the construction of 12 and 20. We have an existing enforcement order. We do, and there's nothing we, we don't have anything else to do at this point. Okay. We're certainly not going to lift it, though. When they called DEP and Bill shut them down, was it this area or I thought it was something going on behind uh, the Harley dealership? I'm not sure, oh, to be honest okay. with you, but I think it's possible. I think it might have to tie in with the um, <coughs> images of the very sort of brackish, and, okay. um, you know, dirty standing water. Yeah, because so. I thought it was running into Oxford. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that was the complaint, though. Yeah. Uh, Glenn Kravosky had complained about it. Yeah. So uh, certainly, I mean, it's filling up with water. Just mm -hmm. about to show you how much water goes through that area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. Filled it this way, to a significant extent. And this was Saturday, so we actually haven't had. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's rain to say. Yeah. It's been dry. Dry. It's been dry. Yeah. The lake is down. On the lake, I felt the lake. Our pond is down like no, it, two it, feet. It, yeah. Well, so we, we've had substantially less uh, rainfall mm -hmm. than is normal for around this time of year. So anyway, that's kind of where we stand on that. On Faith Avenue, we have not received anything from Mr. Provosky. Is that correct, or from Diamonds? No, they haven't filed anything okay. now. So we'll just carry. We this. just received that, which I think I sent to everyone. The uh, what's it called? Um, the dismissing of the. Filing. Yes, the dismissal mm -hmm. of the appeal. Yeah. Right. So, so I think we can anticipate a filing uh, on Faith Avenue. Probably, I would say June or July. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, the next item, um, there are requests for certificate of compliance, uh, 20 J Hill Road. Have we gotten the map built? No. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm going to get the map. It's a very old order of conditions. And that was the one just, where it makes reference to uh, our special order of conditions, and there was no special right. order recorded. Attached, but, right. Well, uh, and we can't find the original file? No. Has anyone called you about uh, No, no one's called back since I told her that we need an ass bill and heard back. Okay, all right, we'll just carry that forward. Yeah. And then one William Street. Have he we needs got, an ass bill too. And we haven't gotten that either. No. All right, um, we'll carry that forward. I think maybe at the time of the next meeting, if we haven't gotten as bills for 20 Jade Hill Road or one Williams, maybe we'll send letters just letting them yeah. have to send them to us. Mike Conan comes in the office quite frequently, so I'll ask him okay. to get that taken care of. All right. Uh, for enforcement orders, we just talked about Route 12 and 20. 490 Rochdale Street, I haven't been out there, but I think it's probably worth a look to see uh, if they've um, started to you know, stabilize and, and uh, uh, replicate the areas that were disturbed. Um, meeting minutes for April 22nd and May 13th are in progress. April 22nd are almost complete. Okay. All right, that's fine. We'll obviously carry those forward. Now, Sheila, have you, did you speak to Mr. Cruz? He's the, um, the 715 uh, applicant. just had like the distance from the edge of the wetland to the existing shed. Um, well, the problem is... really did not have a, a good plan. All right, you know what, election. we'll wait until 7.15 and then we can open the public hearing at that point. Sheila, did you ever hear anything about that about a month ago when I was sick in uh, Curtis, Curtis Road? Yeah. About the, did they ever find anybody I, that was taking felt? I'm not sure. I think um, Matt was looking into that. All I right. really don't know what happened. All right. It's been very busy in the office. I'll bet. Yeah. I'll bet. So I saw the ad again the other day, the done. telegram. They were in another ad for, for administrative assistance. Okay. So. Because they just hired someone, is what I was told. Oh, wow. So I don't know what they 
they're running another ad for it. But they have it in bulk. Yeah. Maybe. So, yeah, this this plan. I said all this is showing is the edge of the water. There's a septic plan there. Yeah, it wants what's, to put a what's garage. The is there a date on it? Um, I'm sure there is. I did have the whole plan, and I was just trying to take this part, and I said, I really don't think this is going to apply for a plan. Mm -hmm. Four seconds. <laughs> We're trying to run a military time here. Mm -hmm. The next matter on our agenda is the 715 public hearing. The applicant is a Franklin Cruz. It's a request for determination for the construction of a garage on property located at Old Nine Colony Road here at Auburn. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. Okay, well, um, there's no one here to present um, this request for determination. Um, in looking at and what I was provided, I don't see, uh, <coughs> there's a description here that it's 125 feet from the pond, but um, <coughs> I'm not persuaded by what's been provided to us. I don't know what the rest of you think. Yeah, no, nothing like the picture. Not a picture. Yeah. And um, you know, it's been our policy. Maybe it's un an unwritten policy, but uh, we generally do not act on um, matters either a request for determination or a civic intent unless someone's here to make a presentation. Yeah. So, um, what would you like to do with this? Well, I, we, we can't, certainly can't take any action. We could take action, but I'm not prepared to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this point, if I was going to take any action, that would be something that the applicant might certainly um, like to do. Right. So, is there a motion? I'll make a motion that we notify the applicant that because they were present tonight with us, um, that we, we continue the meeting until the next meeting. Okay, that'd be on June. On behalf at the same time. Uh, June 10th? Uh, I think yeah, we have somebody else already there. Okay. Um, what time can we find the others? Seven thirty, seven forty-five. Okay. There's nothing at seven. There's nothing at seven. Nothing at seven. seven. Then why don't we have Mr. Cruz come in at seven o'clock? Okay. Seven o'clock. Okay. So Tom, that's your motion. That's my motion. I'll second. Okay. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. Okay. So could you send Mr. Cruz a letter? Sure. And. Um, just tell him that you better show up. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> Maybe the holidays fit on the lot. Really? <laughs> Throw me <laughs> off, I'll tell you. <laughs> you think it's Monday? Yeah. yeah. We have 10 more minutes until the next public hearing. Right. Um, what would you like to do about chambers? I need to look at it, but I would say no. Again, we have 21 days to issue a decision. And I don't know if, if you've been out there, but uh, I, I would feel more comfortable if you looked at it and um, told me what you thought. I mean, the area that um, the adjacent well one is a very it's sort of innocuous. It's, it's innocuous. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's probably, uh, it's a well in probably because of hydric soils and not necessarily because of vegetation. Okay. But, um, you know, again, um, I think we have to just be satisfied that since they've requested this waiver and since they're going to build um, this retaining wall so close to the, the wetland area that they've met the criteria that uh, justifies us giving a waiver. So I would really be interested in what you have to say about it. Now, how far is that from the bridge? I remember when we went to the bridge. It's right near the bridge. Right near the bridge. It's like, yeah, like if you if you're in if you go to the dealership and you're in uh, I don't know if it's employee parking or not, but it's the right hand parking mm -hmm. lot. 
it's right smack dab next to the, the pedestrian bridge. Okay. And so basically, again, the pedestrian wall will basically come right up to that area. So. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, it's a it's a tight site. Um, you know, when Mr. Andrew was here um, at the last meeting, he said that the applicant uh, couldn't really expand on the other side because there's actually there's a stream on the other side. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a tight site. They're trying to maximize, obviously, the, the use of that site. But um, <clears throat> we have to do a, we have to figure out if there's another alternative um, that's available. And so that's why um, I think it worth bearing to take another look at. Okay. Just as a procedural matter, I wasn't here, but if we put off the decision and I have time to look at the video, that you, then you, I can vote. You absolutely can vote. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, I want to do that and then see the site. Sure. Or I would make it. Otherwise, I can refuse myself. Right. Exactly. <laughs> You know, and again, under the, the bylaw, it's 21 days from the 10th of close of public hearing, so okay. they have lots of time, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can do that this week, probably, or Saturday, whenever. Okay. Um, I would have a site visit, Mike. I, I slept in until 8.30. Sure. I haven't slept until 8.30 for months. I understand. It was nice. So it was good. Next weekend. So <laughs> no worries. Not good, but. Um, all right, I've got a thing. Actually, I know. That's fine. Yeah. 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 Today's Thursday. Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. And tomorrow night I have a thing, and Friday night my nephew graduates. So it'll have to be that. But I can do like next okay. week, Tuesday. You better for me to do it. So are looking at this? Perfect. Yeah. How about next week? Yeah. Yeah, let me just put you on my phone. Did you know that we're not including on the map that the Tunisian published a month ago? I'm not kidding. They have like Leicester, and there's Auburn, and Auburn's not even included in it, and then it goes around Millbury. I don't know why. It's you know, you mean Blackstone the Blackstone. Valley? It's the Blackstone yeah. watershed, I think. Yeah. I don't seem like it was just <laughs> the tip of I don't know how to use my phone, so hold on yeah. one second. No, but I mean, okay. Leicester was included. <laughs> They're on the other side of us. Right, it's really it's it's bizarre. Calls. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a, it was a Blackstone Valley watershed or something like that. I would have, yeah. It's going through Leicester. I don't know yeah, why. Leicester's Oh, you want to know who put the map in either. All right, so I guess you're planning to do a site visit, are you, for the herd chambers? Yeah. People just go when they can? That, yeah, that we can thing? do that. I mean, if, um, yeah, I think if people can just go on their own. Okay. You know, until before the next meeting, which is on June 10th. Okay. Yeah. I'm Dr. Giovanni. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, come on in. Thank, Thank you. you. What was your address? Nine Old County Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> we were trying to be on time, so we actually uh, we continued the public hearing on this um, to, to June 10th. So is there a motion? All right. How are we going to do this now? Is there a motion to reopen the public hearing? So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. Okay. You've, you've been absolved from your tardiness. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to have a seat right here? Get your breath. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Appreciate it. So, Ms. Giovanni, are you going to present this? What am I presenting? Well, There's, nobody told me anything about being here, so I'm a little in the dark. Uh, All right. We're building a garage. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in the very back of our home. Right. We have quite a bit of property. There's not going to be any cars in this garage. And it's strictly for storage. Okay. Uh, what I did was last year we built an apartment in the basement, which took up all our storage. And now we need. To, I have my daughter living with me with her two kids. My husband and I are in the basement. Okay. So the garage is basically storage for her family as well as me. Okay. It'll be Halloween decorations, it'll be Christmas decorations, wine equipment, that type of thing. Now, and apparently you're going to have Mr. Cruz um, do the work for you, is that right? Yes, he did the apartment for us. <clears throat> now, oh, in terms of the description, you just said that the garage is going to be built um, 
125 feet away from the pond. Correct. Do you know if you measure that out? He did. Okay. If I were to go to your property, would, would, I, would I be able to tell where the, the site is staked out? Yes, if you go into the backyard, uh -huh. there's an area where they, um, <clears throat> when they remove media from my basement, it's in the back, and the garage is going to go there. Now, <clears throat> on the side, we have a little wall, mm -hmm. and some of that may be removed in order to put this garage in, so it would be far enough away from the pump. Well, what he's asking is, has it been marked exactly where the corner No, of but I can have him do that for you if you'd like. Because, just thinking myself, please. This drawing is not enough detail for us to determine how far from the car and stuff like that. So, okay. Uh, okay. We need to. So it needs to be marked out 125 feet. Is that it? Well, we need to. It needs to be marked out where the building is going to go so we can evaluate. Okay. What I'll do is I'll contact him tonight. Yeah, because he did say he was going to come out and do that, but I think he was waiting for you guys to make your decision. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why it hasn't been done yet. Um, I know he took a 100-foot tape measure, and he went out and he marked it to the 100 foot, and then went from there and did a you know, mm -hmm. 25 feet in to be far, far enough away from the pond. Okay. So I will have him come and mark exactly. The other reason we can't put cars into this place is because my septic system is in my backyard. So in order for us to drive cars in, we would be driving on the septic, and we just can't do that. So. How far is the garage going to be from the septic? Uh, let's see, it's 40 by 50. I want to say 50 feet, maybe maybe more. Okay. But that'll have to be measured also. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, my, my preference would be to continue this until our next meeting. And then between now and then, uh, assuming Mr. Cruz has the opportunity to, Come down and mark to you know, mark uh -huh. the location of the garage, we can then take a look. And then, assuming everything is, uh, you know, is where it should be, we could ju then just act on your request for determination. Fine. Is that agreeable to you? That's perfectly fine. Okay. Um, now the next meeting is when the sixth. No, it's 10th. June tenth. June tenth. Okay. 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 Perfect. Right. I'm, I'm, it's a, it's a seven. seven. It's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll make sure I'm here on right, time. So Sorry. <laughs> can I have a motion, please? I, I would move to close the public hearing and continue it. Uh, so, no, don't close it. Oh, oh, okay. Because you had to reopen the public That's right. Okay. Right. So I will move to continue the public hearing for this matter until June 10th at 7 p.m. Okay. Is there a second? I have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Closed. It's a vote. All right. Thank you Thank so you. much. I appreciate your taking. Okay, no problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <coughs> Chuck, did you go with me to that meeting that we had for the um, Blackstone? The one that was in the morning? No. No. Louise, you were here, right? Okay. You came here that day at 10 o'clock. Meeting they had to get together for the uh, grant for the uh, Blackstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheila said they did get the grant. Oh, okay. Um, they, they did get the grant. Yeah. Yeah. This was for the plus sign. Walking trail. Walking trail, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15,000. Sure. <coughs> right. Yeah, I'm going to go in and talk to Matt and have a chance to see him. Yeah. Right I mean, I know he went over some of the things. Yeah. But, but my thing is, I honestly think that this town could do a lot for less. Uh, depending on the scope of how big they want to make this. So, um, walking trails won't require a lot of engineering. They don't, and, and that's the thing, it's a walking trail, low impact. If you make a gravel road, you're going to have ATVs on it, and you're going to have problems. And you're going to have runoff and everything else. So, um, you set us that information on the um, Blackstone, they have a meeting in Millbury, I think it was. Okay. Yeah, one was in Millbury. I want to try and go to either the Millbury or the Millbury one. The Millbury one's right near where I work in Rhode Island, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I'm sure they'd be able to offer a lot of input on, especially with Rod Meadow work in Worcester. Yeah. They've done quite a bit of that.
I, eventually, I think they were surprised when we told them we were going to issue a positive termination. So no, but I haven't heard anything. So I don't know what they're going to do. You haven't heard anything either. That's always been a good idea. Yeah, good point. Oh, yeah. 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 Alright, um, it's 7.30 p.m. Um, I'd like to open the 7.30 uh, public hearing for Bryce and Laura Keeler. It's a request for determination uh, for the filling of a um, borrow pit on property located at 526 Rochdale Street in Auburn. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Vote. Okay. Would you be the killers? Yes. Please join us. Good evening. Hello. What, um, I'm looking at the photographs that you took back in April 20, 20th or 21st. Um, is there any standing water in that bar pit now? No. Okay. And I can see that you had some uh, communication with Glenn Kravosky on the whole issue of whether this was uh, isolated land subject to flight. Right. Yes. How deep is that bar pit? Six inches. That's all? Six inches, maybe a foot. Okay. <laughs> now, basic. do you tend to get puddling when you have uh, rain storm events? If it's a really, because like in, usually in May we get a week's worth of rain, it'll fill up then. Uh -huh. If we get like, you know, severe thunderstorms, like two or three in a row, it'll right. fill up. Okay. Other than that, if we get one good storm, like last week, nothing. It won't fill up at all? No. Okay. I mean, the very bottom will be a little bit greasy, but it won't be any standing. Uh, I just in looking at the uh, uh, at the email that you received, Mr. Keeler. It looks like there are some woodland plants um, in that area, along with other with upland plant species that uh, that are not indicative of a woodland area. Would you mind if we come on and take a look? Please. Okay. Um, Park further down though by 528 Rochdale. Okay. Because that's a bad corner. All right. Drive really fast through there. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Huh? Underline really. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Um, what does the commission think? Take a look. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So would you agree to continue this to June 10th, which is our next meeting? Certainly. Okay. And what time can we put them on for? I get something else scheduled for 730. Oh. Next agenda, we set room. Yeah, 715 and 735 and 745. May I have a motion? Okay. Move to continue this matter until June 10th, uh, 745 p.m. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's vote. Okay. Um, we'll try to get out. We have a couple of weekends to, to go to the property. Uh, is there a preference on when you'd like us to come by? No, no time. Okay. Anytime it's convenient for you. I just wanted to say that A, B, C, and D on the picture mm -hmm. are white stakes. It's great. Name. Okay. Easy to find. I took this slightly after this April 21st picture with the water in there. Uh huh. This may move, you know, the water, standing water may be either way, you know, between A and B to the left or right, two or three feet. So 
tops, but this side here is very steep, so C and D pretty much don't change with the water. Okay. Very good. All right, so um, can we. We have your phone number, so we will call you before we plan to come up. It might be this weekend, it may be next weekend. Okay? Okay. Fantastic. All right, thank you for coming in. Thank you. See you later. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Visits will be her chambers, people that want to go at their leisure. Yeah. And then. Um, I mean, I don't know if anyone's available this Saturday, depending on the weather. I'd be. Um, I am. Okay, yeah, I'm a, I'll be around Saturday. I am too. Yeah. In the morning, yeah. All right, so why don't we, why don't we don't try to. have my little <laughs> Good, that's fine. Uh, uh, I like you. He's hired. That's great. Right. We can make him uh, okay. uh, what? Um, what is it? A junior, a junior member? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So why don't we um, uh, meet it at the ferry so, today, and okay. then we can okay. try to shoot for Mr. or Ms. D. Giovanni's property okay. at nine. We'll follow up with the kill. Okay. Okay. Oh yes, you do. So you have that, and then what about nine old colony? Are you going to do a visit there? Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do both of those. And then. Awesome. If we Rochdale. have time, maybe as a group we will Thanks. do, and maybe Rochdale. Okay. Yeah. And so maybe you're looking at Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Oh, maybe okay. maybe oh, Curtis Street. Okay. Okay. Um, what about the 1220? I can call Evans Kudak Turner. I want to go see yeah. there. Maybe we can take a look to see if they've done any visiting for the practice, you know. Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Is there a second? A second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. Thank you very much.